Welcome to Hot Seat MD, a case conference review. The directions are simple. When the case appears, I will ask you to pause your media player. Then describe the study type and findings, give a brief differential diagnosis, and then check out the fast facts for additional information. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. Stress and rest cardiac spect reveals a large, high-grade, reversible inferolateral perfusion defect. Your differential diagnosis should include stress-induced inferolateral wall ischemia related to CAD. A less likely diagnosis would be shifting soft tissue attenuation related to breast tissue. Here, the defect is inferior and not anterior or anterolateral, so again, this is very unlikely. Now pause your media player. This frontal radiograph in a patient with cyanosis demonstrates a boot-shaped heart. Regarding differential diagnosis, this is fairly typical for tetralogy of Fallot, although other cyanotic congenital heart diseases should be considered as well, as the chest radiograph appearance is somewhat nonspecific. Now pause your media player. This coronal image from a CT angiogram reveals a low attenuation vertical linear structure in the abdominal aorta. The diagnosis here is aortic dissection. You may mention pseudodissection, which might be seen from motion artifact, although there is clearly no motion on this image. Now pause your media player. This image from a CT angiogram of the coronary arteries demonstrates a patent vessel extending from the anterior chest wall to the LAD. This is a typical appearance for a patent left internal mammary graft in a patient who has undergone cabbage. Now pause your media player. The chest radiograph reveals rib notching, and the MR image reveals focal narrowing of the thoracic aorta. Regarding differential diagnosis, most likely is coarctation of the aorta. You could mention pseudocoarctation of the aorta, although this entity presents with no pressure gradient and there is no rib notching typically. You could also mention chronic large vessel arteritis. Now pause your media player. CT angiography of the coronary arteries demonstrates heavy calcification of the right coronary artery with no opacification of this vessel with contrast. The diagnosis here is simply right coronary artery occlusion. There is no real differential to give. 